for Ignatius of Loyola, the journey of seeing all things new in Christ began with the cannonball moment, with the tragedy, with the crisis. A cannonball brought about transformation. What about us as we are ravaged by the pandemic? A COVID moment could lead us to a change of heart to a change of lifestyle. The Ignatian year is being celebrated from 20th May 2021 to 31st July 2022 with the theme to see all things new in Christ. To understand the theme of the Ignatian year to see all things new in Christ, one needs to reflect over the journey of Ignatius from Pamplona to Manresa. Up to the age of 26, he was given to the follies of the world, and what he enjoyed most was exercise with arms, having a great and foolish desire to win fame. Ignatius in a laconic way summarizes the 26 years of his life as a self-seeking man. But now, as the cannonball shattered his leg, his worldly dreams and ambitions too crumbled to pieces. It was a crisis moment, a Covid moment, a turning point in the life of Inigo. It was an apparent failure in his life. Perhaps it was God's way of intervening in the life of a self-seeker. Could I recall some of my crisis moments or COVID moments? Confined to his bed, he wanted to kill time by reading books on chivalry and romance. Since these worldly books were not available, he was given to read the life of Christ and the lives of saints. While reading these books, Ignatius was exposed to eternal horizon, to a new meaning system. A knight who was so much engrossed in the external world realized that there is an inner world of interior movements and gradually recognized the difference between the spirits. It was a sifting moment, sifting the good from the evil. Therefore, he says that at Loyola, his eyes were opened a little. Have I grown in the awareness of my inner world during this pandemic, during the lockdown period? Am I able to recognize and interpret the self-centered and other-centered spirits? On his way to Jerusalem, Ignatius went to Montserrat where he made his general confession and placed his sword and dagger at the altar of Our Lady, stripped off all his garments and gave them to a beggar and in turn wore the garment of the beggar. The knight became a pilgrim and began to rely totally on God. A deep quest to follow the Lord surfaced and a new pilgrimage unfolded in the life of Ignatius. Have you experienced a deep desire to be close to God, to be intimate with Him during this pandemic? Did you realize that you are beginning a new pilgrimage in your life during this pandemic? Ignatius spent 11 months at Manresa 
by praying, fasting, doing penance, and doing works of charity. It is said that it is easy to remove the monk from the world, but it is far more difficult to remove the world from the monk. Conversion of the heart is a long journey. It is a journey from self-centeredness to God-centeredness. Moreover, it is a journey of doubts, questions, confusion, desolation, scruples and turmoil. Traversing along the dark tunnel, Ignatius was able to see a ray of hope as he knew that God was leading him towards a newness of life. In Manresa, the self-seeking Ignatius truly became God-seeking. While at Pampalona, his leg was shattered. At Manresa, his ego is deflated. After the Manresa experience, Ignatius was a new man with a new mindset. From now on, it was a new way of relating with God, oneself, others and the cosmos. He was able to find God in all things. During this pandemic, we too might have gone through a similar pilgrimage of doubts, confusion, questions and desolation. Were we able to surrender them before the Lord? What are our blocks to become a person of a new heart and a new mindset? May the Ignatian year, through a process of conversion of heart, enable us to see our lives, our families, our communities and our broken world with God's eyes, loving it with His heart and entering into depths with His unlimited compassion.